Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You know it's going to be a good morning. And I'll tell you how you know it's going to be a good morning. You know how you know it's going to be a good morning? Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. Pretty, how do you know it's going to be a good morning? Because the good morning indicators are all looking good. The Bitcoin price stable, the market cap looking good. And we'll talk about the rest of them in a second. But a few days ago, we told you that you are witnessing something that we haven't seen before in a long, long, long time, or maybe even ever. And that is an, a market, bull market, which is being led by the large cap alts. And today we are seeing exactly that being played out. We're seeing Bitcoin slightly down or steady, steady and the large cap altcoins are exploding. So today what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about what this means, what happens next and what altcoins you should have in your portfolio. So welcome and stay tuned till the end because we are going to be giving away a lot of money, a lot, a lot, a lot of money on the show because that's what we do. Welcome back, Banter fam. Let's do this. Out of bed, bitch, go. Get up, get up, and they got gold. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, bitch, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. For me is the most exciting segment and that is because this is my biggest holding yep my biggest altcoin bag and this is a protocol called our weave a file storage protocol called our weave so why am i so excited about this file storage protocol which has very 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 little hype well let me tell you why i'm so excited if that you is, do have our weave tell me in the comments if you don't hit the like button hit the subscribe button and that is a video i made in january Telling everyone to buy our weave. I, I don't ever make dedicated videos. That is a video. But you look like me. We got headphones I in the house. Had, I had big ears back then. We lucky we sorted it out. <laughs> that was in January when I told everyone to buy our weave at a dollar. And this was in December. Yeah, this little video here was made in December for the community. Hold on, I've got to find you this amazing video which Uncle Ryan made in December when Luna was trading at 50 cents more regularly because I think we need to do more. Biggest stories of the week is not because it's of what it's doing, but because of the people involved. Now, one o'clock in the morning in Korea, uh, in New York, it's probably around 11, uh, 11 a.m. EST. And uh, we've got Do Kwan, who's one of the founders of Terra. Uh, Terra were the guys that launched the stable coin or the, the Luna Terra stable coin. It is Probably one of the most used crypto apps in the world. Am I right? Uh, well, that is correct. So we run one of the most uh, popular payment apps in crypto. So for those of you who don't know Do and don't know what these guys are up to, about two years ago, we went to Korea on my CNBC show and we met these guys in uh, the Hashed Accelerator. Hashed is one of the, the big VCs, big accelerator companies. Uh, in Korea. Let's have a look at what you The Korean blockchain scene is humming with activity. There are projects happening everywhere. But there seems to be one hub where all the big projects are coming out of. That hub is called Hashed. And I decided to take a closer look at what they're doing. Let's go. Gentlemen, we've been in Korea for a few days. We've been in the crypto scene and all roads seem to lead back to Hashed. That was when I introduced Hashed. To this community at 30 cents 35 cents uh, sorry uh, luna the community at 35 cents and now they're all playing out exactly as we predicted so welcome back guys if you're new to our channel you're in the right place because this is where we change lives for free 
every single day, three streams, four streams, every single day. Yesterday there were four streams. Sheldino did an emergency stream. Uh, I did a stream. Fred didn't do a stream. We did four streams yesterday. So if you're new to our channel, subscribe, join us. Uh, this is where we give everything away and we're gonna give away a lot of money here today. A lot, a lot, a lot of money here today, but only if you subscribe to Crypto Banter. And you must be subscribed to Microdose. If you're not subscribed to our other channel, Microdose, the description is here at the bottom. The reason why we want you to subscribe to Microdose is very simple. One, we need a platform to bring you breaking news, stuff that is not scheduled programming. And Microdose is the channel that we've chosen to do it. So subscribe because that's where you're gonna get most of the immediate calls. If you do subscribe, you can also win today. You can win your share of so many give so many tokens that I want to give away today. I want to give away Poly Launcher. I want to give away Star Terror. I want to give away Cards Wallet. I want to give away a subscription to um, Market Cipher worth fifteen hundred bucks. All on the show today. Um, yeah, so you got to be subscribed. Sorry, buddy. One one thing I have seen uh, with the community lately is we're not getting the likes anymore. And I, and I think for some giveaways, we got to get some likes going. We have not done that for a few days. So we need some love, guys. We need some love. If we don't get likes, we just switch off the stream. Just switch off the stream. <laughs> they think I'm joking. <laughs> We've done that before. We've not done that before. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the charts. Cool, buddy. So obviously looking at uh, Bitcoin, you know, yesterday, slowly making our way down. I see you got the tile there, Bitcoin price. Exactly. Let, let's follow the, the full set there. So Bitcoin price, where no, we're no, sitting. No, 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 Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Let's, let's start in the beginning. When you woke up this morning, did you know if it was going to be a good morning or not? I did because we still held support. Did you wake up with a tent in your bed? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, when I say I got the tinglies, it does not mean that. Okay, just to just to break the. <laughs> someone someone tweeted yesterday. They said um, Sheldon is a stoner with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> so let's assume that you woke up with a tent in your bed, and then you checked the good morning indicators. The first thing you looked at was the Bitcoin price. How is the Bitcoin price doing? <laughs> Tingly tent, Jessica. Jessica. Good, uh, Jessica wins. Jessica wins a tingly ten. She wins a hundred dollars of uh, Star Terror. She wins a hundred dollars of Star Terror. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously Bitcoin waking up this morning, seeing us still hold, uh, this is good. And uh, one thing that I did see with Bitcoin, and obviously why it's taking a little bit of time, a little short term breakout, is having a look. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. Is having a look at the stochastic RSI. I did need another day or two. And we have now reached the bottom half of the stochastic RSI. So uh, this is still obviously looking very good uh, where we're sitting. We do want to hold these levels. We don't really want to go much below 44. Uh, we want to hold these zones. We still have the bullish divergence in play on the daily and on the eight hours. So I'm still waiting for that. We got a small little uh, reaction yesterday, but that wasn't yet the bullish divergence playing out. Uh, so Bitcoin is looking good. And only reason, a big reason on why I'm saying Bitcoin is still looking good is because they're still alt pumping. So whenever, you know, if there was really a lot of panic in the market, everything would be sitting red today. And you can see that we are starting to get a shift in the market where different ranges where some coins are slowing down for the day and some are obviously popping up. And we can see that there are quite a bit uh, that are red and there are a lot of green as well. As long as we have the, the, the difference between the two, the market is still looking good. People still have confidence in the market and they are not completely scaring out uh, and, and selling everything at this point. So the confidence is still in the market, which is good. Bitcoin is still holding support. I would love to see us still hold that. And it's very simple with Bitcoin today, guys. So what I did do and why it is so important as well to be uh, getting us on Twitter as well is last night when I did that call, the bullish divergence was looking to play out. We started to get a bounce. And what I basically said there, guys, I'm starting to close some of those short term trades that, that, I, that I gave. Let it settle a bit. Uh, and reason being is we weren't close to stop out. So we weren't close to losing any money yet. But I could have seen very much that we could have got stopped out. And what I was basically saying is why wait for a stoppage where we can just take out an entry now? be a bit more patient uh, and then get back in strong. And the way I'm doing that, guys, with the thing is clearly with Bitcoin now that even though we have support, right, and we are bouncing at these zones, I need to delete that line right now and I need to put this line in play over here. Very simple, very easy. So now if you raise my line, 
I don't need to know. I want to know when's the next buying opportunity, when's the next push that Bitcoin's going to attempt for the highs again. And this is the line that's going to indi indicate that for me. So right now, daily stochastic getting to the bottom, bullish divergence on higher time frames, and I have a trend that's going to help me identify that uh, and know when the breakout is coming. And I still see the 50 to the 52K range as the next target for Bitcoin. So that's my Bitcoin thoughts for now, bud. Tentino. Tentino. <laughs> okay. Yes. So let's take a look at the indicators just before we start the day. This is how you guys need to get onto it. What is the Bitcoin price? The Bitcoin price is stable. What is the market cap? Sheldino, what is the market cap? So if I look at the total you're asking for, right? Let's, let's quickly call it up on CoinGecko. I think that's the quickest. Uh, yeah. We're going to look at the CoinGecko. We look at the market cap. Market cap is at about $2 trillion, 1.985. Bitcoin is flat. So, and market cap is up, which means alts are moving the market. So, amazing. So far, two good indicators for us. And have a look here, bud. Let me just share that quickly. You can see there that is still the, the, the full market cap as well. So, we are still in trend. We are still holding. It's obviously the alts that's keeping this, this at float, uh, but we are still in trend. So, that, that's a, a tick in the box for that. Top 50 coins for today. Let's quickly scroll and just see if there's any movements. In the last 24 hours, Cardano is up this, this is where it gets quite interesting, right? Because you're going to have half of them down and half of them up. So, <coughs> but, so, so the best way to take it is as long as there's ones that are doing well, the market in general is positive. And you obviously want to be looking at the ones that are down because we buy the red. It's very simple. As long as there is a good range of, of coins making profits in the top 50, that is obviously the key indication for you to look at. Uh, and then obviously you want to go see which one is down, which one hasn't moved, which one hasn't popped. And those are the ones we go scope out and we look. You just well, want to see that there is positivity still in the market. You're looking for narratives. So if I, that's why I want the guys to get into the habit of quickly scrolling through the top 50. Just by scrolling through the top 50, you can see Cardano is good. You see if Cardano is up 4.8% when Bitcoin and ETH are down. You keep scrolling. You see Luna is up 28% in the last 24 hours. You see uh, ICP is up. And you just scroll through the top 50 just to get a feel. AVAX. When you see a day where AVAX, Atom, what is AVAX, buddy? Uh, it is um, you know uh, Avalanche. Sorry, Avalanche. I, I don't even chart it. It's the Avalanche token. So, but what you're seeing here today, if I just by looking at the top 50 coins, what I can see immediately is that today is big cap layer one day. Cardano is up 4.8 percent, which is a big cap layer one. Luna is a big cap layer one, four, up 30 percent today. ICP, Internet Computer, big cap layer one, uh, up today. AVAX, big cap layer one, up today. Atom, big cap layer one, up today. Today is all about big cap layer ones. So, so Dino, you know, so I was just, um, if I'm not mistaken, is the total two also not in the process of a massive bounce off the $1 trillion mark? So it's just broken. So the total two has broken um, the $1 trillion mark. It has. And as you can see, we are obviously still trending in trend. Um, so we have definitely, 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 we've smashed the higher highs. You know, this is on its way. It's actually quite crazy to see that we are not so far. We're basically just over the middle from the, the, the big dump off on the alts. And now you can see we're basically starting. So we want to keep this trend, guys. We want to keep this, this momentum. All right, so we'll keep going through the morning indicators in a bit. Um, Sheldon, zoom out on this chart because I want to show the guys something. Let's zoom out and see if we can, uh, and let's zoom out on a daily because look at that chart um, and look, go zoom out to 2017. Okay, now you see how we had the small bump uh, in 2017 up until July, and then we had the break, and then we had the, up, the, the creep up. Now go back and look how many times bigger the second run was than the first run. No, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's crazy how, how, how much bigger it is. And, and the one thing that I have realized after a big dump like that, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get it there again. But once you get through it and you smash through it is where it starts. And that's exactly what we want to be seeing here. We've just come off a big rally. Guys, does it not blow your mind a bit that this wave over here could possibly be this little wave over here? It must blow your mind what? <laughs> on, on, on what can be next. Hold on. I mean, the, the bear case, the bears would say the following to you. Go back, zoom back to 2017. Now, look at the big dump, the big climb that you had. And then you had they the massive correction. 
They would say that. Yeah, so that there's the, the high. Say. Yes, lower high. Okay, what's the difference now? What's the difference? Higher high. got the difference? Higher high. Higher high. The difference, exactly. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's your confirmation that you just made a higher high. We haven't had that in the past. No. Okay. All right, let's let's move on to coin panel. If you want coin panel, the description link is at the bottom. What is you our should... fear and greed looking at, buddy? Let's look and at the fear and greed index. What is what is it looking at? Uh, I would say without looking at it, I'd say it is about 70, maybe it must be a little bit down, I'm sure. Man. 70, I would say 72, but let's see. 72 yesterday it was 73. Mm, let us have a look here. It is now 70. Good, yeah. good, okay, good, good, good. The market's cooling down. This is very, 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 very good. Let's quickly Gradual get through the rest of the checklist. Okay, so good. the Bitcoin dominance, we've checked. The grayscale premium. Let's quickly look at the grayscale premium. Uh, we no haven't shoulders. checked the dominance yet, but that is looking down still. Good. Good. So dominance is done. Look, okay. We do have an alarm bell. The alarm bell is the grayscale premium is minus 17%, which shows that there are no institutions buying right now in the market. This is big. This is a big red alarm bell today. A big, they're big, really, big they're, they're already all bought. Now they want profits. <laughs> they yes, all bought they long. Like, they bought it in the 30 case. Remember, Sheldon, when they're, when you can buy Bitcoin at 17% less by buying GBTC shares, very soon the demand for Bitcoin is going to go down. And that's why Bitcoin doesn't have any momentum at the moment. That's what's nice. going on. That's why Bitcoin's not moving. Um, you wouldn't would buy change that now. So, so let's say obviously now pullback in the market, you'll say that probably change. A pump in the market, would that change? Pump, pump in the market would change. But this would okay. lead the pump. So this would lead the pump. Um, okay. Then the Bitcoin trend line, we sh you showed us the trend line. I added yeah. two more. Um, I added two more indicators. The first indicator is the stock market, the U.S. stock market, because remember I said that if the U.S. stock market goes down, then the whole of crypto is going to go down in a pile with it. So you've got to keep your eyes on the U.S. stock market. If I look at the Dow Jones futures right now, the Dow Jones futures are trading down one percent. So weak. And Bitcoin is holding very strong. So good, good, good sign. And the last one is how much leverage there is in the market. And we'll talk about that on the later show. So the indicators are looking good. There is an alarm bell. The big alarm bell right now is the Grayscale Trust. We have to watch out for the Grayscale Trust because it shows that the institutions aren't in the market. That's exactly what it says. It means they're not in the market or it means they're not buying? Well, they're not buying. Okay. I was just having it to look at the US 30 as well quickly. So at least we got this alarm bell in play if there is any break of trend and... Right now, small correction, but looking good. So I think let's let's jump into it. Let's have a look at one. Th well, you know, now that we're obviously bouncing, I love this part of the the the, the uh, trading and and especially getting into good positions. I love buying on these supports, uh, and I went through it very. That's why the, the whole point of that market dose yesterday, guys, was to to get Zachariah, you to understand where we want to go. Zakaria Tahiri, Zakaria Tahiri, Freddie, bring back Zakaria Tahiri. Zakaria Tahiri just won herself a hundred dollars of Star Terra. Okay, well, let's carry on. Freddie will find a Zakariri Zakaria Tahiri. So what I'm basically seeing right now with, with Ethereum, the four hour and the eight hours hit the bottom. And obviously, if I have a look at the daily stochastic RSI has just bottomed out. So right now, this is still looking super bullish. Um, and what I'm basically doing is I've let's just let this load, is I've basically taken some more shorter term positions as well. Uh, as investors, you know, we're going to wait to see uh, the trend break. We're going to wait to see if Bitcoin breaks that trend as investors to add more to investing. But definitely for the medium term and short term, uh, I'm getting in over here and I'm knowing my stop loss around 2.9 anywhere in that zone. And what I'm looking at from Ethereum is a push up to this level over here, a small pullback again, come capture rest of liquidity and the breakouts that can take us back into the ranges. And where I am seeing, obviously, if the market's turned bullish now, um, reason being is if I jump back here quickly and I'll show you guys what uh, the Ethereum, do you see how that's still the drawing from what we had to think? This needed to come down a bit. And you see how we have literally come back and we are testing support for the Ethereum dominance. So the charts are still moving beautifully. Everything's looking good. And this is a very clear indicator for me. If it's some, this market turns bullish now, Ethereum is going to go and Ethereum is going to move strong. And if we have a look at Ethereum to the Bitcoin chart, do you see that we obviously broke that short-term wedge, which is perfectly fine. And what we do is we come down and we test the previous supports. We have broken out of that wedge and it makes sense for Ethereum to come to the zone and then have 
the, 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 the next push up the side. So uh, if the markets turn bullish at any point, um, which I, I do feel, uh, the right tinglys, not the tinglys you guys are thinking of, um, I, I do see Ethereum leading the gates and really having a strong push out of this next um, bull leg up or anywhere in that sort of region. So Ethereum's yeah. looking good. This is more or less what I'm looking at. Uh, guys, there was a small thing and I didn't realize it. I've been charting a lot of the coin panel charts with white lines. And if you don't put it in dark mode, you won't see any of my lines. So I'm making sure that I'm just changing all my colors today. I've been using white on the black, so I thought it was easy for everyone to see. But then you use a white chart and, and then where's Sheldon's lines? He doesn't even have anything on his charts. So I have made sure and I have made sure that I've changed the color of the lines. Okay. We, um, that, so first of all, if you guys want Sheldon in your pocket, and I think now in the bull market, it's very, very, very important that you have him not only for the entries, but also for the exits, get coin panel. It costs nothing. It, I, what does it cost? Like $20, $30, $29, $29. guys, $29. you got Sheldon in your pocket. Every time Sheldon draws a line, you guys get the line in your pocket. At the same time, you can set up your trades. Uh, before you trade, which is amazing. It'll protect you. Um, there's a re referral link in the description, and by clicking the referral link, you also help the channel. We don't do sponsorships, as you know. We don't do many sponsorships. We do when we think they're going to protect you, our valuable community. So that's the first thing. Um, Sheldino, let's go through Good some summer, of the calls. Buddy. I just want to go through this one quickly. Chart-wise, yes. this is still amazing. The outs are still going. The dominance is still weak. Bitcoin... It's, okay. it's good if it goes sideways. It's what we want. We don't want it to explode too fast. Uh, otherwise, there can be big dumps in between. We want gradual growth from Bitcoin. But now we're starting to see the random alt pumps. And Kusama still a monster, guys. I still see Kusama. This is really good, much higher time frame charts. Four hour, eight hour, and daily stochastic RSI has up hit the bottom. And the next leg I am seeing close to the $400 moves. Uh, so Kusama is definitely on the list. Kusama is on the list. Again, it's a layer one large cap layer one if you look around you what is moving is the large cap layer ones so kusama is undervalued it hasn't moved yet it's going to explode well, what's the price of kusama kusama if i have a look 288 it's cheap buddy it's going to 350 in the if the market doesn't crash or collapse or come down kusama is going to 350 in the next three days remember and say that uh, the market, to... short term, Fantastic. is going to have a bounce first. It is going to have a bounce first, and then we'll see. Uh, you'll see how bullish divergence plays out. So Phantom, I'll get into now, Rand. Just before that, Matic is one that's getting very close to the range. It's making very strong bullish divergence. Um, but still, where we are catching uh, Matic is still a really good range. You know, we had a good acceleration. We have come down. Remember, nothing can move too fast. Uh, and anywhere in these zones for Matic, is a really, really good top up zone. I also feel Matic is going to have a run any of these days, a massive run similar to Solana and similar to Luna. I'm not sure what you think, buddy, but I think Matic is, is definitely going to turn bullish any sure, moment Ma now. And what happens Matic when a coin a turns bullish? Matic is uh, a layer one. It's a layer two, but it's actually a layer one. It's a blockchain. So, so guys, on, when was it? Two, three days ago, I tweeted out there, guys, if the market has a pullback, I've put ranges in all the coins and you can see how this is why it's important to have the right tools as well, guys. It's not just for the thing of having coin panel. It's like you, you literally have what, what I'm looking at all the time and you can see how you would have caught the phantom trade beautifully. And now phantom holders, now you guys put a nice stop loss in the region of 35 and you let this baby run because now the next level is 57 cents and obviously to the 70 cent range as well. So that is looking really good. And even the atom trade guys, this is why it's so powerful to, to understand that it's one line. You know, yesterday, I loved crypto face. I love it very much, but 20, 30 lines. I can't work with that. I can work with one line, though. One line there. There was our entry. There was our pullback. There's our entry. Enjoy the ride. And now you can see how Atom is now going to have a, a strong push up to the $23, $24 line. Do you see how simplifying and making a simple strategy through a bull cycle Knowing where to put stop loss, knowing where to risk. Who cares if you get stopped once or twice? Who gives a crap? Because when you get it, you can see how quickly everything just gains. And just by that little atom push, you know, it'd be sitting 25% now, even after a small pullback in the market on that. So uh, it's very important to keep it simple, keep it real. Let's go through some of those coins, bud. Um, I think a big one we went through yesterday was FTT. And I just want to see how it's reacting to the market. I see coin panel takes. Look at that. Come on, guys. 
This is why they're here. This is why the charts are here. So FTT, shorter term, adding a little bit to bags. We know where the risk is. So we don't want FTT to go below $42. Go Very back simple. To but this buying wise is, is great. So FTT for me is a buy. And it's a short term buy and it's a stop loss at $42. Uh, Habib, that is the best comment of the day. Um, Tell them to all time. <laughs> I'm not going to live this down, am I? <laughs> Habib, Habib, my friend. Habib means friend. So, Habib, you you get a hundred dollars of quick of a poly launcher, um, which is worth like fifteen hundred dollars now. Give it to him. Just give him money. Give him money. And Al Kramer, you can have one evening with Sheldon anywhere you want in the world. You just choose. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Oh, Where are we going? Oh. Either that, or you can have $100 of Star Terra. You choose. Let us know in the comments. Al Kramer, you can either have an evening with Sheldon. He'll fly out and meet you anywhere you want in the world when, yeah, when yeah. there's no travel restrictions. Or you get $100 of, of Star Terra. You choose. Let us know in the comments, and I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what we're eating. Let me know. You know what Let I also know. want to give away? Sheldon, you know what I also want to give away? I want to give away these. Oh, Really? Yeah, I want to give away sneakers. You're going to give them away. I want to give away a whole lot of uh, a whole only, lot of these. Only, only, only for twenty thousand likes. That means we need a lot more what people. You, only way, start giving away. If we, if we at any point get twenty thousand likes on a live stream, we can give those away. No, we can make for the community. If you want these, just no, let us know. We can make them. We can make no, them. Let's make some for the community. Look how cool they are. This is made by one of our partners. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, these are yeah. talent, talent, talent. And the crypto yeah. man reds are on their way. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Yeah. All right, Sheldino, you know, let's quickly go through. There's a few charts that I really want to know about. Yeah, Giro, you get them to me, buddy. Jira Wallet. Jira Wallet. Jira Wallet. Okay, cool. Because remember Cardano uh -huh. was up. And remember I said the other day, when you see a ecosystem up, look at the tokens. When you see a token up, look at the ecosystem. So I saw Cardano was up in a down market, and I'm saying if Cardano goes up, then Jira must go up, and then Charlie 3 must go up, and then Cardstarter must go up, because that's what happens, right? Mm, mm, mm. So I'm waiting for it to load up here. This is good. So you see what happens when it goes up a little bit too quick? What it does is it basically comes and it tests the imbalance zones in these areas over here. So if I just draw a simple line, remember, keep it simple, keep it easy, uh, horizontal line, and we take from that, you can see we've had an RS flip. So this, and I see there's a big ass candle. So, I have a so great that's definitely going. One for you. I have a great if I one. Yeah, let me just show you guys. Yeah, so it might have a small bit of rejection, but obviously there we go. So that that's a very good sign that uh, Jero is starting to make its way again for the next leg. Good well, I have, a, I have a part of your portfolio, guys, and it's just a, it's a good six month year hold. Really, really good. I good have such a gem for you. Oh, I just get just got spotted. Okay, listen. Yeah, so, you got the tingles now, don't you? No, nah, I've got tingles. <laughs> nah, I've got tingles. Okay, listen you, you, your ten, your ten I, think I, found, I think I found a proper gem now. Listen. So what is the hottest protocol at the moment? Like if I were to say to you the three, four hottest protocols at the moment, what would you say? Solana. Uh, Solana, definitely Luna. Um, Luna. Okay, stop. So that's what I want to know. Remember I said, you go, Fred, where's that little chart that I had which showed you how to make investments where you go... You see, so you look at market cycle. The market cycle today is large cap alts, right? Layer one alts. Then you look at the trend. Hey, take the comment down. I can't see. Then you look at the trend. The trend is DeFi. And then you look at the ecosystem and you say the hottest ecosystem at the moment is Luna. So you've got three ticks. And then you say, okay, what is the biggest, most amazing DeFi project that is sitting on top of Luna at the moment? And that's Anchor Protocol. And I think I don't have a chart because I don't. I just look at it on my coin. Uh, on my coin. Where do I thingy. get it? Is it on Coin Panel? What is uh, it? Uh, it should be Anchor Protocol. A N C. Look up A N C. It A -N -C. could be that the chart is also good. It could be. There we go. Anchor. Anchor Protocol. On Oh, much honor. Much honor. Much honor. Oh, oh, oh! Just started getting going. Eh? Much honor. So what this has done, obviously, it's now broken out of this range. So we've seen it already. We've done it with a few calls now. We've done it with a few things. So, so that's that what is I a very that, that's and a this thing used to be at like eight bucks, eh? Wow, wow. Now, now hold on, wait. Let's just zoom out for one second and understand why I just got so excited. 
Luna is at 30 bucks. There is more money flowing into Anchor. I think the, the total value locked in Anchor was like 8 billion. We'll quickly check it out now. Okay. But Anchor hasn't yet run. But Luna has quadrupled. So it's like buying Uniswap. No, What's I mean, Anchor's is, market cap sitting at, right? Because it gives a nice little range of, of the possibilities. Looking, looking. Hold on. I think we may have found a gem. Okay, it's got this $3.4 billion locked up in Anchor. Remember, Anchor, you can put it, you, you can put in your money, you can deposit money, and you can earn 20% per annum. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Tartarus yeah. looks yeah. amazing. We found Tartarus the gym. Tartarus looks amazing. And okay, you what's nice it. about it, the next two resistances are sitting between 4.8 and $6. So, so, so that's good. Uh, and we do have one shorter term one, which is sitting at 3.9. So this is good. It's only just got it going. And you know, it's very simple. RS flips are in play as well. So ladder in very simple dollar cost if it comes back at a test dollar cost but at any point it can absolutely just go all the way to these ranges so ladder in okay. dollar cost in good strategy love it that's our gem for the day that is our gem for the day uh i do want to we've got like two minutes left i do want to go through some super chats quickly boys vegas say hello any updates when sniper school starts sniper school starting soon we're starting crypto school i think this weekend and then after that we'll do sniper school Dr. Anes, welcome, brother. You're always welcome here. Uh, I'm always Doge listening is to a bar. Doge is a bar. Doge is a bar. It's an add-on zone. Just saying. Listen, you can't, you can't ignore Doge. I don't know if you watched the microdose that I did yesterday. I did a show yesterday called Microdose. It's a 10-minute show. Uh, if you missed it, uh, go and check it out. But the Doge Foundation is back. So, and, the, and Elon Musk is on the Doge Foundation uh, Elon Musk is on the Doge Foundation. Uh, I want to show you something. Something amazing just happened. I want to show it to you. If you stake Luna, so let's say you stake Luna, and because there's so many amazing projects on Luna that are listing on Luna, right? So you get airdrops from every single project. So you see now, I've just, I just logged on to the Anchor Protocol website, and because I've, I'm staking Luna somewhere else, I can claim the the edge of now trying to press claim i'm trying to make sure it doesn't reveal too many details and then i'll show it to you guys i'm going to press the claim button oh look have a look at this so it just airdropped me 778 anchor and each anchor is valued at three dollars 33 so i just got two and a half thousand dollars of an airdrop give it away <laughs> fred says give it away i can't give away everything and give away everything. So you see, this is the beauty if you hold Luna. This is what people don't understand. That as soon as you go onto the protocol, you just get airdrop tokens, and the numbers are actually quite significant. The, the numbers are actually super, super, super significant. So don't, yeah, this is like people don't know how valuable this is. Sheldon's tent, he's pumping. Ryan, what have you started, buddy? <laughs> okay, let's give away money. Let's give away money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Let's give away another one of those uh, market cipher things worth one thousand five hundred dollars because that crypto face guy was insane. Okay, we'll do it on the second show. Uh, okay, let's give away more money. In fact, no, 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 we'll give away more money on the second show. Ten a.m. EST. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get. Okay, we got Nitesh Sug Sugnani says, "Where do you buy Anchor Protocol? You can buy it on KuCoin. Uh, you can buy it on KuCoin. It is listed on KuCoin." Um, we do have MDO Carmo says, I'm always listening to you guys while I drive my kids to school. I'm never able give to comment. Two, Ryan. Give one or two. Maybe at least okay. one. MDO Carmo, who can't comment because he's taking his, his kids to school, can have $100 of Star Terror. You get $100 of Star Terror. Amazing. Much honor. Much, much appreciation. Much honor. And then, um, Run aka Nostradamus. That's a good one. You can have a hundred dollars <laughs> of um, Star Terror. And then Venu says, Run, pump me from India. No, I can't come to India at the moment. <laughs> All righty, guys. We'll see you guys again 10 a.m. EST. We're going to give away a lot of money. And um, uh, last thing, Ran, uh, if, if Bitcoin, I drew that trend line in play, that, that resistance. We break it today. Keep your eye out for the Microdose show. It's coming.
or keep your eye out for coin panel because on coin panel you can also point your thing there um one more thing one more thing um freddie i want gary v on the show today bro please i want you know what? do this do this i got a better idea get gary v and get elio together because we should talk about nfts also i want to talk about i have something big no, I have, I have a, uh, people don't understand how to value tokens. And I'm going to talk to you about how to actually value these tokens. Because I, I, something happened last night while I was sleeping. Sh Sheldon, I haven't even told you about this. While I was sleeping last night and the tent was up, bro, <laughs> something happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Freddie says he will get hold of Gary V. Gary V coming on later. Okay, great. So phone Gary. Let me know if Gary can come on. Watch that. Watch our Twitter. We'll let you know if Gary can make it today. See you later, kids. Much love for this family. Much love for this community. Use the hashtag after banter to talk about this show. Um, and get coin panel because Sheldon keeps making calls. Sheldino Tentino. Yo, yo, we'll see yo, you guys yo. again later. Until then, trade away. Trade well, my family. Trade well.